Hello and welcome to the first part of a three-part series to create a JavaScript blue planet. We'll be using the uh, HTML canvas tag to do this. So go ahead and download this template, uh, update the div tag to a canvas element, and update the ID to something a bit more memorable. We'll also have to assign a width. Well, you, you could do this in code if you like, it doesn't matter. 500 and a height as well. To access that canvas, we just have to create a variable. You can call it canvas if you like. Canvas will equal the document, get element by ID, and then all you have to do is type in that string that you had before, the ID, game, canvas. That's our canvas, and we also need the context in order to do some graphical operations. So context will, it comes from the canvas itself, so canvas get context. Now you can see in my uh, autocomplete list here, it's not available. That's because this get element by ID gets it returns a generic element. So we have to specify that we can use JS doc. So that's, you just follow this convention. Uh, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code here. So it, and it supports this. So we need that at type. Um, at type and in braces we put the type so it's HTML canvas element just like that close the JS doc uh, that way and hopefully now it's letting uh, code know that this is going to be a canvas so let's try again get context there it is and it takes a string, and we'll just put 2D there. We're not trying to do anything fancy. 2D, good. The first step is to draw a background. Draw a space background, because we're gonna have a planet. So that's just gonna be black, isn't it? So, context, fill style. That's to set the color. Probably the default is black, but let's explicitly state that. The fill style is black. And the thing that we'll be drawing is a rectangle, fill rect. It needs an x, y position, so the start, the top left corner, which will just be zero, zero, zero. The width is the canvas width, canvas width. And the height is the canvas height. Canvas height. Let's see that in action. This is just a list of the colors that we can use. Uh, I've, I'll post a link to this in the description. There we go. Just update the title to something a bit more memorable. Blue Planet. That's just what will appear in the tag here. Blue Planet. Right, so not tag, tab I should have said. The next is the circle, so we need to draw the planet. To do a circle, well first of all, let's set a fill style. Context, we don't want it to be a black planet on a black background, that won't look very good, will it? It'll be an invisible planet. We'll just temporarily set it to blue. Later we'll apply, we'll apply a radial gradient. Now to draw a circle, we will have to begin a path. There's no circle function as far as I'm aware. So just begin path, and then we'll do an arc, context arc, arc method. Now, it needs an x and y, and a radius, then a start angle, end angle, and clockwise or not. So the start position, so this will be the center position, will be the middle of our screen. So we can just go canvas, width times 0.5, or you could do divide by 2 if you want to. The y is canvas height times 0.5 for a square, <clears throat> for a square field, obviously this doesn't, you could use width for both of them if you wanted to. The radius will be, well, we don't want it to be as big as the screen, do we? So let's say, 
times say 0.35. So that's the radius. The diameter would be 0.7. The diameter would be 70% of the screen. That sounds probably okay. The start angle is just zero. The end angle, well, we want 360 degrees, but this is in radians. So if you remember your maths, 180 degrees is pi. So 360 is pi times two. And is it clockwise? I don't really care. Doesn't matter, I don't think. That's the arc. And now we want to fill that circle. So fill. Just fill by itself is enough. Let's run that, see what happens. There we go, there's our planet. So can you see that that's about 70% of the width? If we used the full, it would have been filling up the entire field, which is not what we really want. You can adjust that to suit though. Okay, now we want to make that look a bit nicer. We'd like to apply a gradient to make it look a bit more 3D. So we can do that here. Apply a gradient. So just create a variable called gradient. And that will equal context create, create not linear gradient, a linear gradient is just from left to right or top to bottom, we want to create create a radial gradient. Now it requires a whole bunch of parameters here. The x, the y, and the radius, and then x, y radius again. So the x will be, it could be the center of the screen, but let's offset it a little bit. Uh, so canvas uh, width times by, say, instead of saying the middle of the screen, which would be 0 0.5, how about we offset it say that much, so 0 0.4 instead. Canvas height times 0.4. The radius will be, for the initial, for the inside uh, part, we'll just say zero. It's gonna be the, it's gonna emanate from the, from that point. Now the second one, it's going to be the same. So this will be the second color in the gradient. But the radius is going to be the radius of our circle, which is that. So it'll go to the outside, if it'll, go, it'll cover the full extent of the circle. That's the gradient. Now we need to add some colors to this gradient. So all we, to do that, we just go add color stop. It requires an offset number. So the first offset starts at zero and a string. Uh, we'll keep to the blue. So here we've got the fill style set to blue. We'll change that to gradient instead. So our fill style will be the gradient. Uh, again, we're going to add another color. Now what color? We could probably a darker blue. So you can look that up just by going to these color names. So how about we go with Midnight Blue, Midnight Blue, Midnight Blue. That looks good. Nice. So we've got a planet. It looks a fairly 3D-ish. Now to make this look really nice, how about we give it a bit of an, what do they call it, an aura or a halo, you know, the atmosphere. The atmosphere would probably emit a bit of a, a lighter color. So we can just basically do all that again. Now, it's just going to be a circle. It's going to be slightly bigger than the planet, and it's going to be drawn behind the planet. So to draw it behind it, we have to do it first. Okay, so this will be for the halo. And <clears throat> draw the halo. I don't know if that's the astro astrological, astronomical name for it, but that'll do for us. Okay, so we'll, exactly the same thing. Probably we'll center it. There's no need for it to be off center. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. The width of it will be bigger. So how about we make it 
probably have to adjust this. So let's try initially 0.5. That'll be it'll go extend to the edge of the screen. The color stops. Well, we want the second color stop to blend into the background, so we want that to be black. And the primary color, hmm. Let's have a look. We want it to be a bit lighter. Maybe Dodger Blue. Let's try Dodger Blue. Dodger Blue. Now to draw the actual halo, seeing that I'm declaring this uh, variable gradient twice, so I don't need to do that, so I'll just delete that VAR there. So we only need to apply it once. To get around that, you could put all these variables at the top of your script to save you having to fix those things up. Uh, gradient, yep, yeah, we got that. To draw the halo, we've got the gradient, begin path, arc, um, blah, 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 blah. The width will change to 0.5, but everything else I believe is the same. Let's give that a go. Hmm, not too bad. You could adjust the size, just say we wanted it to be 4 or 5 instead. A bit smaller. Yeah. Or, <laughs> I mean, you could get very pedantic with this, but let's go with 4 8, and that's what I'm sticking with. Good. And there we go. And that was our first part of this uh, three part tutorial series of how to create a blue planet. Thank you for listening.